So, Honor Magic 6 Pro. I've had it for about two, three weeks now. And um, just want to give you my full thoughts on it, really. Um, if I think it's a good phone, I do. If I think you should buy the phone, I do. Um, if, is there anything that I haven't liked with the phone? I'll let you know. So the display, 120 hertz, 6.8 inches, I think it is. Um, so big phone, um, but really, really good. Um, the screen's super fast. It can get super bright. All the usual stuff about the screen, you can set it at 120 hertz as standard so it doesn't dip. You can set it as dynamic so it goes, it can be super quick or when it's on simple things like maybe reading text messages, it slows down. Um, really good display. Next thing I want to talk about um, is the battery. Battery life is immense. I've had a new sort of, I don't even know what the word is, but a new worry really, because it lasts so long, um, I'm going to bed with maybe 30, 40% battery life left. Um, so you always got that thing where you don't want to charge your phone too much if it doesn't need it, um, but you don't want to go to sleep and then wake up. Um, you go to sleep and it was on 40, you wake up, it's on 35, and you're like, that's not going to last a day. So you, you plug it in and you're like, sure, I just plugged it in overnight. So that's a new thing that I'm, that I'm learning with this phone um, is although it is over a day's battery life, easy, easily over a day's battery life, you do still have that, that doubt where you're wondering if you should plug it in just so you know it's topped up for the next day. Um, I have done it before. I've, I've not used my phone as much. It's been on 60%. Um, gone to bed, woke up, gone to work, came home, and then had to plug it in because it was on like maybe 10-15%. Um, but that's very rare, very rare do I not put, just charge it overnight? Although I don't necessarily don't need to, you just charge it overnight just, just to be sure that you've got enough juice for the next day. But yeah, really, really good battery life. As it's the best battery life I've had on a phone ever, period. It's, it's really good, really good. Another thing that I want to talk about is the cameras. Um, I will put up some pictures of the cameras. I've been taking loads of pictures with the cameras. Um, a lot of the reviews that I've seen from other people speak about the cameras baffle me, if I'm honest. Really do, they baffle me because I don't know what, what they're looking at. I don't know what they're expecting or I, I, just, I just don't know. Um, I've had no issues in regards to the camera, no issues whatsoever. Um, the cameras are brilliant. Re like When I say brilliant, the cameras are really good. Um, best cameras I've had on a smartphone. I've had a lot of different smartphones, whether it be your Samsung S23s or what, whatever, whatever. I've had no issues with it. This is by far the best camera phone that I've had. Um, the 100 times zoom is the only thing that I think lets it down. It doesn't even let it down. You shouldn't be using 100 times zoom. If I think if you, cam if you had a camera, like I've got the Sony ZV-10 and I had a hundred times zoom, I would expect it to be a hundred times zoom, usable quality. But you gotta think, the zoom that you'll get is gonna be huge. It's not gonna be paper thin. So for this to have a hundred times zoom, it was never gonna work, never gonna work. So if you're buying this phone because you want a hundred times zoom, you'll be disappointed, you will. It, the hundred times zoom on this isn't good. The hundred times zoom, I've never seen a phone that can do a good 100 times zoom, ever. You just, it's just not there. 2.5 times zoom is optical. It's obviously just, it's flawless. So 2.5, brilliant. Five times, brilliant. 10 times, brilliant. Um, when you start looking at your 20 to 30, you can start to see it's still a brilliant photo, still usable, still really, really good. But you do, you probably can see things in the shots where you're like, oh, that's a bit squarish, that's a bit pixelated, or that's a bit blurred, whatever it may be. That camera's top notch. Don't be worried about the cameras on this phone. If you want to take good photos, this camera, the front selfie camera, the rear cameras, top notch. Even the, the wide angle, brilliant, really, really good. So, all good cameras, 
honestly all all really good cameras don't don't be worried that you're going to buy a phone with, with rubbish cameras you're not you're not i don't know if i've said it before about this phone i was looking at it and i go this is a really good looking phone obviously matte black really nice texture to the things it is without a case it's quite slippy um, so just bear that in mind you probably will need a case but i think it's a really well made phone a really pretty looking phone a phone that i'm really happy with another thing that's really good with this phone are the speakers um, when you play music even when you whack it up to full blast it's the speakers are on point the speakers are loud bassy and um, they've got stereo so you you can hear it, do you know what I mean? You can hear the different different beats coming from different sides. Um, top, -notch, top notch speakers. I think the Honor Magic 6 Pro is one of the best phones that are out. Obviously I've not had the latest Samsung um, phone, the S24 Ultra, um, but that costs a lot more than this anyway. So is it in the same comparison as this? I don't know, maybe the S24 would be a more suitable comparison. Um, I probably, won't get my hands on that just because I, I can't afford to buy two phones I'm, I'm not sponsored at all so they're not sending me free phones or anything to review so um, I'm not sure I'll be able to get my hands on that but that's really good so I just want to say a thank you for those people that have subscribed I appreciate you um, if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe if you're still on the fence um, maybe just um, press the, the notifications so you get notifications when I drop my next video and if that's a video that um, convince you to subscribe brilliant um, but if I'm not making that content that you like let me know why let me know what you want to make what you want to watch um, and I'll see if I can make it as I say I'm new um, still trying to settle down and sort out the things that I want to make videos about but what I've made them about so far are things that I'm interested in um, my next video is going to be again about my drone I find a really nice place that I'm going to fly my drone and things like that so um, gonna get that up because um, that my I think one of my drone videos still still doing the rounds and people are still commenting on that so people seem to like that drone so I do I do more drone videos as well but yeah I say everything's new still um, but I'm enjoying it so just want to say thank you and I'll see you soon